Um, to be honest with you, I feel like it wasn't even retention. I feel like the kids did a great job of taking it upon themselves this summer. The old guys taught the new guys. Um, install really has been pretty easy. The kids really know the answers right now, so they did an unbelievable job with, with the playbook over the, over the summer and the spring. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of new pieces. Um, the older guys must have done a great job of teaching the young guys, and the young guys put some work in because they're playing at a high level right now. Um, with the with the young guys and the new guys we've added playing at a high level, uh, the the competition has increased everywhere. So it's been it's been really good for the entire defense. Uh, to be honest with you, we we look like a completely different unit on both sides. I think than, than the spring. I, I think it's 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 knowledge of the system. It's knowing how Coach Frost wants them to practice, and it's probably more competition out there than it was in the spring. But it's it's a good thing right now. Yeah, it's very surprising. I didn't know what we were going to get into. I didn't know if it was going to be a deal where they were going to take the summer off and and chill or whatever was going to happen. But that, that that's not the, been the attitude around here, uh, and it's great to see. I mean, even even the the guys that were here in the spring, they look a lot different. A lot of that has to do with with uh, Zach Duvall in the weight room and the conditioning. The kids are playing more confidently, and they just look like better athletes right now. Yeah, I think Aaron's done a nice job right now. We're kind of watching him, obviously, um, taking taking some hits off him because of you know he's coming back and all those kind of things. But he's done a nice job running around out there. He, he's a very smart football player. Uh, system aside, he's just very football savvy. Uh, so he does a lot of nice things. He can kind of guide those young safeties and help them out. But that's a that's a great great asset to have in that room. Kind of following up on the question about the newcomers, have you seen? I know you guys love to push those veterans, put someone next to them, and say. Absolutely. I think those young guys have dove in head first. You know, Coach Frost always talks about when you're a freshman, it's not always the most athletic, it's not always the best player, it's the guy that has the right attitude. And I think the guys that we recruit have the right attitude. Um, they're diving in head first, they're competing their butts off, and everybody else is, is jumping right on. And it's made, it's rose the game of everybody. And I think you're going to see um, some young guys getting some meaningful reps in the season. I hope if they continue to progress, um, but at least. At least they're going to be in the mix. Take out Trey Neal. What does he do at that safety position? Obviously, he played a lot in your senior right. How much does that help just getting those young guys caught up and some of the returning guys just to get caught up on the scheme? Yeah, we've already kind of seen it. He kind of knows the answers to the question. Um, you know, a lot of the times the way I teach is I present him with a problem, I let the problem occur, then we give him a solution. He knows the answers to the question a lot, so a lot of times already those kids have been able to. to make a new call we haven't even put it in yet but Trey's kind of told him hey this is going to happen here's what we're going to do so having him in the room has allowed the, the teaching at, at the position the safety and the corner to raise to a higher level and he also kind of knows what we expect from practice so he can guide him in the drills in, in the different segments in spring I'll tell you honestly it was not very high right now I'm I'm really thrilled. I think definitely that's the most improved unit on the team. And, and by no stretch of the imagination are we ready to roll yet. We're not ready to go out there and play a game yet. But that, that unit as a whole, the guys that were there, the young guys, that, that group has taken a huge, huge step in, in fall camp. And I think we're all pleasantly surprised with them. No, I think it's pretty global right now because it's not like it's not like one guy's getting all the production. It's been, you know, the first day a couple young guys had picks. Then, you know, Antonio had a pick. Then Aaron had a pick. There's been some great ball breakups. There's been some guys getting getting some fumbles loose. So I think it's overall the, the group has just rose up a little bit. I know you've heard a lot about Rutherford. Where you think you're going to see him until now? Yep. Can you tell he's kind of chomping at the bit? Yeah, I can tell exactly what kind of uh, player Luke is. I can tell what kind of asset he's going to be. He just needs to get his legs under him a little bit. You know, he, he, he did the strength conditioning all, all summer, which is good, but that's not football. So he just needs to do a little football. But he, he shows some signs of, of really being a great football player, and I, I kind of see what everybody's talking about now. With Ben still kind of settling in at that defensive end position, how do you feel his development is going through? I think Ben's development is good. Um, you know, we're asking him to do some different things now. He's kind of moving around. You know, he's playing four, he's playing three, he's playing five. 
he, he's, he's had to learn a bunch in a hurry. And I think we all take for granted sometimes with Ben that he is a sophomore or whatever. He's a young guy. And sometimes we treat him like he's a lot older and we expect a lot more. We still have some teaching to do with Ben, but there, there's, he has lived up to expectations. Well, I think that he's to the point now where he knows what to do. It's just the, the, the details, the, the minute things. If he encounters this block, if they don't block him at all, if they're reading him, what is he going to do if he's in a pass rush mode and they all of a sudden go down for a run? You know, it's just details. Detailing the technique is where he's, he's going to struggle. Not struggle, but that's where he needs to, to kind of excel a little bit. I know it's not your side of the ball, but it's kind of fun to see some of the new weapons they've added on offense since the spring that you're dealing with. Yeah, it is. I mean, and it, it only makes us better. Um, the competition in, in seven on seven. The one on ones today was a great, great competition. Um, I'm seeing some of these new backs and some of these new receivers make some cuts I haven't seen for a while. So I, I think they're going to have some, some toys to play with over there, and it's fun to watch them. Coach, in the spring, you said there was a lack of vocal leadership. Have you seen that change within the first couple of days? And if so, who are some of Yeah, it's changed, and I don't know if I can pick out a couple guys right now. But the thing that's changed right now is when something's not right, somebody says something. I don't know if we have three or four or whatever guys yet, but somebody says something and everybody listens. So we've all we've, we've grown in the leadership, but we've also grown in the followership. It's not anymore, you know, like, F you, I ain't listening to you. Now it's, oh, somebody told me something. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's my teammate. I'm going to do it that way. So I think the, that whole that whole group has, has grown as leaders and followers. That has to be yeah, in the springtime, I'm calling them up after every period. I'm taking them, and by the time I get over there now, it's just they already got them. Mo Berry's got them up. Mick Stoltenberg's got them up. You know, anybody's got them up, and they've already got them called up and taking care of the problem, and I don't even have to get in there. So that's a great feeling as a coach. Thank you, Coach.